Noveski Rifle Works, Grants Pass, Oregon, known for their supreme quality rifles and related hardware, is the manufacturer of their KX-3 flash suppressor. The KX-3 was specifically designed to not only eliminate most of the flash from rifle caliber pistols and short barreled rifles, but also redirect the concussive blast that is common with these types of firearms. Although the internal workings of the KX-3 is designed like a single element of a typical sound suppressor, the total amount of sound is not reduced but focused forward where it has far less effect on the shooter and bystanders. While taming the blast is probably the primary reason a shooter would choose a KX-3, it does an admirable job of eliminating the fireball as well. Take a look at this demonstration using my flashiest hand loads with military surplus powder, comparing a M16 birdcage to the Nevesky KX-3. This is the stock birdcage that came with my SIG P556. And this is the Nevesky KX-3. And here are a few other considerations for my fellow SIG P556 owners. The Vesky KX3 weighs about 7 ounces and if you install one on a P556 and set it up like I have mine here with the EOTech and the sling, you're looking at 8 pounds without the magazine. Something you may not have heard about before is the fact that if you install a KX3 on your firearm, it does add one extra cleaning step. It's not a real big deal, but you do have to remove the lock ring and unscrew the element every time you clean your bore so that you don't get solvent and debris back in here. And uh, you want to clean this anyway. And you're going to have to coat your threads with nickel based anti seize compound. And the reason you need that is because it's good for 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need just a touch of this stuff distributed on the threads before we reassemble. Then we just line up the notch here and reinstall the locking ring so it doesn't back off when you're firing and it's ready for action again. If the suppressor cone in your KX3 gets stuck because of carbon buildup you can use a standard M16 cleaning rod and fit it right into the notches there to apply extra force for removing it. Another important consideration if you're thinking about putting one of these on a P556 is that well the operating rod comes out without any problem there isn't enough clearance here for the gas tube so that means it's going to be a little bit more difficult getting in there and cleaning it. I hope this video was helpful to you if you're considering the Noveski KX3. Thank you very much for watching. I just want to see how well this KX3 is working. I'm going to take one shot without hearing protection and see what it sounds like. Just like deer hunting. Ooh. No good. <laughs> That's a ringer. Maybe it's not quite like a 20 inch AR 15.